Hi, welcome to this tutorial on creating a bounce Liga table in Power BI. In this video, we will show you the process of creating a bounce Liga table in Power BI. Using the HTML this creature visual, we will show you how to import and transform your data to an HTML table like this result you see here. So let's get started by creating our HTML is creator search here. I have already my data here. Here is it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is creating a table in HTML. So this is easily in our website here. You can find the link in the description. And after this, you can click on the full screen HTML editor. So now we need to create our table. Let's go to table and create what we want of columns and also row. The first step, I will just create the heading of table. So the heading, I will start with five columns. In the five columns, we can see here the first column of border, second of rank, third for logo, club name, and also the match plate. Let's get back here. This is the second for the border and the rank, logo, and here we need to create the club heading. And also, let's give it the match plate. And simply, you can create the major name here and copy code. You can go now in the Power BI, create new measure. And now you need to paste the code. After that, you can clean this call group. We don't need it. And also the border and the width here. So to get clean HTML table head. So Let's enter to validate and let's see the result here. So we can put the head in the header and see the heading. We can add also the header line like this. And now we need to add some space from each column. So to do this, we need to create exactly a style here. And inside it, we need to add the width. For the first column, we have two or three pixels. So let's do two pixels. It will be here. Okay. Also, for the second, about the rank, we need 20 pixels. And you can do this to all the columns. So here for the border and here for the rank. The third about the logo, we can give it 13 here. And as you can see here in the table, the club name is a large width. So we can give it 300. And about the match played, let it in twin. So let's enter and let's see the result now. So here is our result now. Now, the second step we can need is adding the content of table, is the body of table. So to do this, we can simply add it like the first example is going to our website and copy and generate the code and second step is the copy exactly the code you have here in the head. Let's create a new measure and paste exactly your code here. Let's change the name and we need to add here our variables from the table and also we need to adapt it. So here we need a border width. 
sorry we need the background color the background color it just to give this column a color like this example blue the second is about the rank let's give it one the third it's about the image so now we need to add our image here by calling the mg tag and the source here let's keep it empty and also the club name let's give it as example Bayern and the match played we need to add example 10 so here we need it just to see our result so enter to validate and let's get our first row here and here is it our row simply we can't see the image here because we don't use any source but now we need to create our variables here to add it in our html okay so we need to start now by the border color let's call it with me and call our table color now let's copy this line and repeat it five times as we can see here we need five we need five variables okay so the second is about the rank we can change it here third is the logo of the club and let's give it logo club name here and the last one it's the match played we can call it like now and return the variables so now we need to call these variables in our html so use index we can create it like this by adding double quotes and concatenate our variable and call the variable here so let's do this to all line here And what we're gonna need to change is the variable. So let's get the rank. The third is the logo code. For the logo code is about base64. And we need to call club name. And the last one is the match played. So now we will enter to validate to see the result from our table. And as you can see, it's called from our table. We can add a clip in the category. And also we need to sort this because this isn't sorted. And we can sort it by the points. As you can see, here is our table now we need to add all the other columns and also we need to align the club title with all this club name so to fix this problem we have the issue in the logo we can go in the body and give the images the same width of the column we can give it width and we give it 13 pixel same as the column so let's enter to see the result and here is it now we need to add all the other columns like the win draw lose and also the others so it's 
simple also we can duplicate the lines so let's start by the head let's give it here 15 pixels and let's duplicate just copy and paste so now we have win draw lose and also the other games and the points okay now let's add a text center to align all the items we need it here and for all the other columns okay now we need to add the same columns here in the body so we copy all these columns You can see the columns here and let's add it in the body here okay so now we need just to add the variables here and we need to do the same thing so just copy and paste so let's start by win draw lose and also the game and points okay and now let's change the variables name same as we have here and let's call it in our table so let's try this it's just copy and paste so it's very very simple you can copy and paste and change the variables here it's about when second is I think is draw and lose and the game and the points okay let's delete this and enter and we will see now the result so here is it and we can now add the points okay i just delete this match plate let's get it here and now we will see the table so what we're gonna do now is add the last five games so let's go add last five games it's the same thing for these columns okay it's just copy and paste so now let's add the heading title last five it's the same thing but here we need to add a call spain 
that specified we this columns is about five columns so is five okay let's enter and we need to add a width here so let's give it 100 or let's give it like this and now let's add the other five columns let's start by variables it's last one last two it's just copy and paste to call the variables two three four and five this is very very simple you don't need to be an expert in html so now we just need to add like this columns and call the variable of last match play so let's start by here this is the last one that's true We need to add another columns here and it's the last columns and let's enter and here is our result here as you can see